Hello everybody, welcome to your weekly celebrity reading. This reading is for uh, Korean actor and actress Park So Joon and Kim Dam Dami. All right, I hope I got their names right. I'm Korean, so I should have. <laughs> uh, this request, I've gotten several requests for them, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and do, and it looks like they were mostly about their uh, relationships. So um, with most, a lot of these uh, Korean actors and actresses and celebrities, uh, we can't really find their time of birth, so I can't really do full birth charts for them, and I usually like to start off doing the birth charts, but you know, uh, he is a Sagittarius, and today I'm recording on Friday, December 16th. I noticed it happens to be his birthday, so happy birthday, Pak So Joon. And then uh, Kim is a uh, Aries, all right? So two very fiery, fiery, you know, people, um, and very highly compatible, by the way, okay? Aries and Sagittarius, they're very optimistic, they're, you know, they take charge, and, you know, they've, they've got each other's backs, so, uh, we'll go ahead and just do the relationship reading to see where they're at now, I think someone wanted to see if they were gonna get married, we'll see if that comes up in the reading, uh, but again, this is just a relationship reading for these two possibly uh, so Joon and Kim Dami uh, to see what's going on with their relationship. If you are a subscriber, leave uh, your celebrity request in the comments. Uh, I all my celebrity readings are based on your requests. Lastly, I do never uh, Google uh, the people that I'm reading. I like to do cold readings. Uh, I don't want to know what's going on in their life. Uh, and quite frankly, I don't even know who these people are. So that happens a lot. I, I read a lot of celebrities who I have absolutely no idea who they are. I've never seen any show or movie that they've been in. Um, but that's the best way to do a reading just so you're not biased in your reading because sometimes, you know, tarot readers can do celebrity readings for, you know, maybe Maybe their favorite actress or actor and subconsciously they're you know interpreting the card uh, favorably so we're not gonna get that here all right so again let this let's go ahead and get started see what's going on for these two little lovebirds see if there is marriage in their future see what's going on with them right now and uh, let's get started all right so like I said earlier, I do a traditional Celtic cross spread. It is what my uh, clients prefer. If you want to book a private reading, you know where to find me. Secondly, um, I am, if you, again, if you uh, have a celebrity you want me to read, drop them in the comments. Um, and don't forget to, I get a lot of requests from people I've already read. So go through, yeah, feel free to go through the playlist because they might already be there. All right. So cool. Let's get started. I don't see anything so far in terms of marriage. What I do see is there There could be, you know, a little fight, a little tiff. Uh, there could be something that uh, they're going to have to experience together that may, you know, that it, it could strengthen them. But let's go see what's going to happen. They did get the three of cups, okay? This is really good. This is all about celebration. It's all about sisterhood. It's all about brotherhood. This is a great, uh, you know, especially because right now for, I believe it was Kim who, who she's the Aries okay she's about to enter the best uh the best year of her life i mean it's it's gonna start happening december 20th when jupiter goes into aries jupiter the planet of good luck good fortune prosperity all of that okay and so for Puck, jupiter's going into his fifth house of love so uh the chances and likelihood of them getting married uh in 2023 very high okay because the fifth house it is pleasure it is love it is you know procreation you know kids uh, and then for Kim with Jupiter going in her first house identity it's just she has the most luck out of all the signs up until May 2023 but you know after that Jupiter goes into her second house so she's just gonna be making I mean, rolling in dough. She's been making a lot of money, okay? So, but let's go back to the Three of Cups again. They may have had celebrated something. They could have had some sort of joyful moment. Some, especially, you know, something where they brought their friends in. So that's really great. And, you know, because it is his uh, birthday today, that could also be a thing. This did come in their past, though. So this could be something just, you know, something they may have gotten something that, you know, that 
uh, just being social and and really really bonding and strengthening that bond now listen speaking of strengthening they did get the strength card in the heart of their spread hey listen this is great okay strength is all that courage and resilience and it is exactly as you would see it but it gets a little bit deeper you see that she does have the sign of infinity of her head so with that strength comes infinite possibilities i mean this is divine prote protection from the universe and you can see that she is taming a lion and you know the lion's allowing her so there's a lot of synergetic energy here there's a lot of interactive energy so they do have this really really tight relationship okay and it's really really great for them now one thing that i would love for them to do is i they did get the three of pentacles okay they got the three of pentacles in their challenge area now we know this card is you know it's all about teamwork it's all about collaboration you know teamwork does make the dream work right and so uh when you work with other people it it brings a lot more successes so i, I feel like that i want them to open up a little bit i don't know you know i am getting a message that they might be really private with their relationship um it's it's listen it, it's it's really working with other people now and so uh i think that's going to help them in some ways if there are any challenges that they're going through they should just know that they're they don't have to just always rely on each other there's other people that they can reach out to now do you see the pattern here by the way this is their third three card okay we started with the three of cups so they got the three of pentacles in their challenge area now we're getting the three of wands three is growth and advancement okay but it's also creation all right good things come in threes by the way so listen this is in the crown okay this is what i call the green light card this is you know ready to just go out there start this adventure they really want to do it's almost like broadening your horizons a lot of travel related to this card as well there is a lot of um for both of them, honestly, moving into Capricorn season, it's it's like they're going to be focused more on work, okay? Especially with Kim being an Aries, Capricorn going into the 10th house, her 10th house of career, we're going to hear possibly some good career news. She will hear career news. We have that super new moon in Capricorn coming up. I think it's on the 19th or, uh, no, I'm sorry, the 23rd. But even still, that's a bundle of planets, Venus, Mercury, the sun, you know, they're all going to be in Capricorn. That's in her 10th house. And for Puck, that is his second house. All right. So as a Sagittarius, money all right even values material possessions but listen this i love the fact that they do have the three of uh of ones all right ones are passions are uh, creativity but also really work related here okay uh, ones are enterprise it is you know jobs it is career uh but it is very fiery ones represent fire so as we know they're both fire signs so they're just ready to go they're ready to move forward with some things now listen they also got another one card they got the knight of wands which is someone who is very fiery all right so all the knights are on a mission okay they're all on a mission to go after their passions now this knight listen they're getting a lot of travel are they i mean i don't know they may be traveling soon okay they may be traveling for work uh maybe leisure but they're already getting you know a bunch of travel cards but listen here's it came up in the root of their spread and this night very transformative energy okay when i say this is really fiery knights representing fire wands representing fire you even see fire coming out of his helmet here come on this is very fiery so really blazing forward that's all they want is to just go pursue their passions okay again i think this is more work related so uh in terms of just the things and you know with the three of pentacles in their challenge area it doesn't look like it's like they'd be working together but it really is they're they're they they want to move forward and they want to move forward fast and they want to just like fast track right uh, uh their goals and their aspirations and what they do and what they're known for you know in their roles but this is really great again very transformative energy and it really is you know uh, also learning grasping all that knowledge really sagittarius energy which is another you know fire sign but you know just think about that expansion and learning and and, and just 
you know, moving forward on this mission to just get a lot more knowledge now. In their future, they did get the Five of Swords, okay? So this is a conflict card and it is a challenge card. So what it really means here, you can see the man with the swords, a little smug face. We don't really like that, do we? But here's the thing. You can see everyone else. This is a battle. This is a battle has been fought, okay? Now, he's he can keep going, all right? He's got his swords. But you see everyone else has wrought their swords words all right now you also see in the background it's cloudy all right you know what clouds are you know what they mean all right there's no sunshine listen but also you see the blue sea all right it's not a wall a lot of people think it's a wall because it, it does kind of look like a gladiator's arena it's a sea and the water represents emotion so they could have something come up that is really challenging and it is forcing them to go within so they could have uh, actually have some sort of fight um listen it's all about at the yeah at this point in time it's all about really choosing your battles choosing your battles wisely right battles are fine we go through battles every day we have challenges every day it's how you approach it and how you come out of it that actually matters right you want to you know it's all about self-dignity all about self-respect you want to come out of these battles and these challenges and arguments being the better person, but also a better version of yourself. So if there's anything that I, you know, I would advise them is if there is a, a conflict that does come up and an argument or of, of some sort, really think about is this worth even getting in, you know, a, 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 a quarrel about, right? Is this even worth like, you know, a, a holding out our swords? But listen, it's almost like they will. It's It's like losing power if they do go into this battle you see that you know swords by the way are very powerful and they're the mental suit okay now look you've seen game of thrones you see how people hold a sword that's power that's authority not that look at him it's just resting it on his shoulder he's got one in the ground listen no so choose your battles wisely now ask yourself whether this is even worth it but like i said it's in their future it's gonna happen and it's gonna have them go within all right a lot of soul searching all right that's what the hermit is okay big virgo energy here all right this is you know not only ruled by virgo but the hermit is someone who has made a lot of accomplishments he has made a lot of achievements he has climbed the top of the mountain now all he wants to do after all of that he just wants to be alone he wants to be alone be with his thoughts he wants to know what's going on in his life really tap in go within and why do i say that because he's holding a lantern you can only see so far with lantern light it has such a weak glow right where do you find that brighter light it's within you that's where all the answers are that's where all the wisdom that's where all the knowledge is this is all about soul searching it is in their future so it's clear as day there's going to be some sort of you know argument or maybe a little tiff that's going to possibly force them to just really think about what what's been going on all right and you know how to move forward their next step now you see the last clarifier was the queen of pentacles okay so again like this is all about uh listen the pentacles are it is money and it is wealth and like i said they're both focused on their career i would even say laser focus is the energy that's coming through now listen this is money this is wealth the queen is wealthy but very maternal and she's the type of queen that likes to take care of uh, everyone in their kingdom but like in a very philanthropic in a very like oh you need food i'll pay for it do you know what i mean like that type of person okay she's got you she's got you she has the resources now the last thing that i want to say is that this is the card out of tarot that does look like it's been torn out of the page of a fairy tale okay and you even see the the rabbit okay in the corner of the card listen fertility but listen the back to the fairy tale the fairy tale is world building at the end of the day okay she has the resources to build the world that she wants okay so um they are going to be in a in a, in a good place i'm not gonna lie they're gonna be in a great place they need to just do that soul searching and then they're going to have all this abundance all right and they're going to be in a place where you know they don't have to have a lot of worries it's like this hermit moment that they're going to have bring it's going to bring a lot of clarity for them all right it's going to bring a lot of those moments now let's go on to their staff again 
If you like this reading, it'd be great if you like, subscribe, oh gosh, and leave uh, comments, especially about them. If if I always love hearing about, you know, what resonates and what doesn't. And um, if you're a subscriber, uh, drop your celebrities in the comments and I'll add them to my list now. They did get the Ten of Cups, okay? So this is great. This is amazing, all right? So it's almost like, sure, they do want that. They do want marriage. They do want that. They do want that lifetime. I mean, look at this. This is happy life, happy family, happy home, happy everything. This is, you know, the only rainbow in tarot, rainbow indicating a promising future, okay? The cups aligned over their heads in that rainbow okay cups emotional fulfillment but also when it's aligned over the head that's a lot of spiritual enlightenment okay and so it does look like they do want to be together they do they're in it to win it all right that's what they want they do want it now they did get the king of swords all right they got their king of swords in their external factors area someone who is very powerful all right extremely powerful uh has a lot of authority someone who has nothing to hide someone who can get the truth out of anyone uh someone who you know like you cannot lie to the king of swords all right he is like uh powerful authoritative but just has you know head above the clouds he can see right through like anything that would just you know not be cool with him someone trying to do anything underhanded uh, this is someone that's going to be coming into their life, okay? Someone with a lot of power and authority. Again, I'm getting uh, a lot of energy. Well, look, clarify the Knight of Cups as well. So a lot of energy in terms of like, it's more like a, a, a like manager energy or it's still like very, it's someone who's, 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 gonna help them out sort them out okay let's let's just say that if they're if there is some sort of fight but even for their careers like progression in terms of that now you also see the knight of cups here okay now this is a card of romance you know he is mr romantic he is someone who's you know going toward the things that he's passionate about he wants to fill his cup okay this is the knight in shining armor now again this is in the external factors area as well all right so it's almost like there is someone coming through that is going to give them this great message of, you know, this is going to happen for you and this is all. And, you know, it, again, the King of Swords with the Knight of Cups, okay? So someone with a lot of power and authority and then someone just kind of like, you know, helping them fulfill, uh, feel emotionally fulfilled, all right? If that's how you want to put it. Now, you do see the Ten of Wands here, okay? Now, listen. There's a sense of just working so hard, all right? It's it's almost like at a point of exhaustion, all right? They're uh but they're not gonna, it, it's it's almost like they're not. It's just like they're just they they keep going. I don't know if it's to like distract themselves from like I, I don't know if it's it's is they're just so laser focused, okay? Um but there is a part of them that where it's just like a little exhausted from it, okay? And so uh yeah, uh it looks like they do want something, uh, it, well, the interesting thing, 10 is the end of the suite, okay, or a suit, and it's the end of the cycle, and so he can put all these wands down, he's worked really hard, to the point where people have to ask, like, can you handle this, are you okay, do you need help, right, because this is a lot of burden, okay, and so it feels like they've been just working too much, but listen, they got the ace of wands, so it looks like they do want some new uh, opportunity to come through and it is uh, uh maybe in their roles maybe a new uh role opportunity maybe some uh, something in career but lastly ace of pentacles as i said earlier uh kim is going to have the best year of her life uh, uh or the best year that she's had since 2011 let's put it that way okay uh also going to make a lot of money starting in may all right now ace of pentacles this is money this is wealth as i said with uh uh uh, uh Pac, he's a sagittarius and you know uh we're we're going to uh um oh i'm sorry well for her for him the 10th house that's copy soap for this month and then for 
with the money and career okay what we could hear something new um and they could she could get something new uh but also with Pac, with his all that capricorn energy that new moon we're about to approach in his second house of money okay listen there's nothing relationship really here yet or marriage sorry marriage there's nothing uh indicating to me that they're going to be married soon Things can change, all right? Remember, they're going to have a little bit of a conflict. It's going to force them to do some soul searching. Uh, but there's a lot of things here more career-related, more things uh, going toward your passions. But there, nothing came up in terms of marriage that, or for me, nothing's here that's indicating it's going to happen soon. Now, that could change, right? If I were to do their reading, maybe in February, March, who knows? But remember, 2023 is a good year for them to be married, all right? It is a great year for them to be married, especially because Kim is going to have Jupiter in her first house, okay? Kim's going to have Jupiter in her first house, the best year that she's had in, in since 2011. And for Pac, that is his fifth house of love, okay? So Jupiter in his fifth house of love and pleasure and procreation the first time in 12 years so since 2011 he's going to have the most luck and prosperity and good fortune in terms of love okay so the possibility is definitely there okay it's a good time for them okay next year but for now current energy is more career stuff this is very just working hard for your money all right so there's your relationship reading for um, Park Seo Joon and uh, Kim Dami. Okay, uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Again, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like, subscribe, and leave comments. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.